Just a quick reminder guys, these narrations are best enjoyed with headphones on. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts, heaven, or hell. Oh, what is the room? It's Pokemon 99 Chief Editor of the Civil Gaming Reviews here. This time, I'll review Xbox Game Pass's latest offering to the fighting game community. Is this game a Street Fighter killer, or is this game just a pretender? Well, without further ado, let's find out. Duel 1 Let's Rock! Arc System Works' is Guilty Gear series is a writing star of the fighting game subgenre. Its heritage stems back from the late 90s where a golden age of fighting games was prevalent. The first entry of the series would release in October 1998 for the original PlayStation. This particular game was released exclusively for the PC and PlayStation consoles on June 11, 2021. Earlier on this month, this game was released for the Xbox consoles with cross network support. The story is set three weeks after the event of the previous century of the series, Guilty Gear Exart. After defeating the threat to humanity known as the Universal Will, our protagonist turned bounty hunter Soul Bad Guy and joined a brief part one piece until the worst criminal in US history who created the gears and initiated the crusades, turned himself into the government. It is up to you to discover Asuka's diabolical plans, put a stop to it while settling to score with one of Sol's childhood friends gone rogue. The accessibility scores are as follows. To kick things off visibility, give it 10. As par for the course for a fighting game, there are numerous colors per character. In this case, there are a total of six color combinations per character. This should even out the battlefield for a player with a visual impairment. Fighting games are normally are fiercely competitive. As professional fighting game tournaments, for example, EVO, are world renowned. So a player with a visual impairment should be able to play this game with no issues. Next up, on ability given 9.5. There are subtitles present in this game, so a player with a hearing impairment should be able to understand what's said during the gameplay. However, there are no way to customize the font size of the menus and subtitles. This puts a player at risk of getting eye strain while playing this game. Next up, mobility is going to sky high 11. As standard for a fighting game, button layouts can be fully customized. Again, this evens out the playing field when playing this game. In a highly competitive environment, for example a fighting game, where a single frame input can bridge the gap between continuing combo attack or your opponent landing the final blow, taking the round. This feature should be a no-brainer for taking players with mobility impairments into account. Last but certainly no means least, gameplay has scored a 10. In short, this game has a lot of polish. The gameplay during a match is very fluid and a lot of fun to play. However, in terms of single player content, the game seems a little lackluster. Yes, arcade mode is present in this game, which is the bread and butter mode for a fighting game. The story mode is merely a collection of cutscenes, which seems completely pointless. However, with all fighting games, it's the multiplayer where you should be spending the majority of your gameplay time on. The game takes a whole new approach of matchmaking. Skill ranks in multiplayer takes a more Mortal Kombat style of approach. Multiplayer battles take place in a tower. The floor of this tower you're on represents your skill level. As you play multiplayer matches against human opponents, you move up and down floors in the tower, so that way you're always up against the player of your skill level. This game also has rollback netcode. To members of the community who are unfamiliar with what this feature is, rollback netcode is a way of combating poor connection quality during a match. This is achieved by predicting which input you are most likely to perform next. And this is done through machine learning. As I have said earlier on in the review, this game has a lot more focus on the multiplayer. 
so the implementation of robot netcode should be a no-brainer. In summary, Guilty Gear Strive is an excellent traditional fighting game. The lack of single-player content seems like an oversight. The game's soundtrack is god tier. If you need more proof, go to YouTube, search Find Your One Way or Salt Bad Guys Theme, crank up the speakers to the maximum, and get your air guitar ready for some serious metal. So, if you're looking for a traditional fighting game to get yourself ready for Street Fighter 6 releasing in early July, I seriously cannot recommend this game enough to you, and the overall score is 101.25%. See you guys in the next review, Spartan Commander 99 out. Roll out Spartan Century.